Hi, it's Peter Whittle here, reporting from the beautiful seaside of the Essex coast. I'm here in Clacton. Uh, the reason is obvious. Uh, the whole of the country is looking at this particular constituency coming up, because of course that's where Nigel Farage is standing. And also, depending on which opinion poll you are looking at, uh, it looks like he's in with an extremely good chance uh, of getting elected. Um, the reason we're down here is, of course, the mainstream media also tends to be very sniffy about places like Clacton. You might remember a while ago, uh, Matthew Paris wrote about Clacton. This was back in the UKIP days, and he was sneering and, well, outright snobbish about it. It's a very nice place, actually, particularly in the sun. Anyway, we went round and spoke to a few random people, and I actually stressed that. It was completely random. It took very little time at all to find people who were going to be voting for Nigel Farage and reform this time round. And uh, listen to what they had to say about their reasons. I think that you will quite agree with them. Guys, are you uh, interested, are you taking any interest in this election at all? Oh well, yeah, we're, we're now getting more into it, now you're hearing a lot of what's going on about it. Um, yeah. And uh, anyone take your fancy to vote for? Is it? Uh, well, Nigel Farage seems to be the main man around here. Um, he seems to make the most sense and uh, worries more about our country. Which... Yeah. And what, 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 what is it that concerns you about our country at the moment then? Well, it's just more seems to be they're focusing on other countries and with Nigel, he seems to all worry about our local areas and what's going on in this place. Are you from Clacton or are you from around about? No, I'm from London originally, but everyone seems to be branching out as uh, London isn't London no more, which we're seeing everywhere. If you, if you go to London, you'll see that for yourself. Well, no, I'm from London, born and bred, and uh, I've also moved to Windsor. Uh, where were you in London? Uh, I was born in Hackney, which, if you go to that sort of area, <laughs> it shows you for itself. Um, but yeah, with their sort of uh, mayors and their sort of uh, prime ministers and that, it seems to be more worrying about other people. Is, it, is that the same for you, do you think? Or? Yeah, I feel the same, literally. It is shut all the borders, mate, and get England back to England. And uh, worry about us. not all these foreigners. You, you and you trust sort of Nigel Farage, you know, to do that, do you? Yeah. Well, he, he seems to be the only man for the job, really. It's no one else is more vocal about this side of things. Uh, so that kind of shows why the the people do go against him because there is a, we're, we're getting outnumbered. Well, look, um, thank you very much for that. That no, was lovely. It. it was a quick, short, and sweet, but to the point. That's it, mate. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, I'm here with David. I think it's no uh, mystery who he's supporting by the look of his rosette. Um, David, what brings you to Clacton? Um, I feel passionate about this election and the importance of Thank Nigel securing this seat. And uh, what, have you come far for this? I come from Chelmsford. And uh, why, are you, why are you passionate about it? Um, I think that there's a, 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 a disintegration of trust in politics. And I believe that Nigel is showing a vision of someone that we can actually trust and uh, his track record is one of delivering on his beliefs. Um, have you come from another party as it were? Um, I've naturally been a Conservative voter. Um, I'm afraid the, uh, the, the recent history of the Conservative party, party ever since they forced out Boris has, has left us all delusioned, uh, d uh, left us all, um, I don't know what the word is, uh, disillusioned. disillusioned, sorry, disillusioned. Yeah. And uh, I don't think we can trust them anymore. What is it that, um, I mean, I'd agree with you on that, but what, what are the main issues for you? What, 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 what puts you behind reform? Well, controlling our borders is number one. How, we, how as a civilized country with so much history can have an open door of people coming across in, on boats that we don't know who they, who they are, where they're from, what their criminal intent is, if any, is just totally unacceptable. 
Uh, my feeling is is that the uh, the reform, ha the, the momentum has been gathering, it's been building. Do you think that's true? I mean, do you think Nigel will win here? Do you think? I, from my experience of this is my third day campaigning for Nigel in Clacton, and I am in no doubt he's going to win. Well, that's uh, f fantastic. And um, if he's there in Parliament, right, and it will be, the, you know, after quite a few attempts, um, what would you like to see him, you know, talking about in his first speech? Well, he's got so much to go at. <laughs> it's like saying, uh, what was the Oliver Cromwell's best day, you know? Oh, yeah, yes, yes. In the name of God, go. That's what <laughs> Oliver Cromwell said, wasn't it? Um, Dave, thank you very, very much. Okay. And, and all the very best for the campaign. And thank you very much for speaking with me. Thank you. Um, Madam, you look like you're actually uh, campaigning for reform, are you? We are, absolutely. And are you from Clacton or are you from somewhere else? No, we're from Dorset. We're, we're living near Bournemouth. So we've come up last night for two nights. And what has the reaction been so far, do you think, here? I haven't trotted it up, but we've been canvassing. And it's probably 50% plus for, for Nigel Farage. Yeah. So you're, you're very hopeful, are you? Um, I believe the data is actually telling us that he'll win this seat, but one can't be complacent. So we're out there helping Nigel in his campaign. In his campaign. Um, you know, the media have been very sniffy about Clacton. And, and I mean, I know Matthew Paris, for example, a few years ago, wrote a famous piece, basically just being very condescending. It seems quite a charming place to me. Do you know what? I couldn't really comment on that. Well, I think it's a very interesting place in as much as you've got quite a mix here it's quite working class in a way yeah. and you'd think that well this is a strong labor a stronghold for the labor party but actually the support for reform which is certainly right of center is quite remarkable yeah. so i mean you know the people are great but the ones that we've spoken to are very enthusiastic very. but what what motivates you to come all the way from dorset to campaign we love nigel yeah, we're he's fans. given this Right from the early days is his life and we feel yeah. that it's the least we can do. Yeah. He loves the country like we love the country. So any support that we can give, we're more than happy to do it. Yeah. Nigel, he tells it as it is. Yes. Thank you very much for that. Thank you. Hi, I'm here actually with Alec, who I'm pleased to say is a viewer of the New Culture Forum. Um, Alec, how long have you been watching? Two or three years, Peter. Really? Yeah. yeah. And so you're, you're a pretty loyal viewer then? Well, I'm a subscriber, yes. Yeah, subscriber. Yes. Great, 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 good. Um, Alec, what do you make of the election down here? I mean, obviously we're here because Nigel's standing. Um, will you be supporting him? I certainly will, yes. Um, I will support Nigel because he represents the views of the common man of this country. Do you think he will win? I certainly hope so and I, th I think he will. I think it will be close because Giles Watlin is very popular and but the, the Labour thing has got a, a very, you know, they've got a big swing toward Labour but I don't think they'll manage it. I think Nigel will take it, yeah. Um, Charles Watling is the Tory candidate, isn't yeah. he? Yeah. Charles Watling has been a very good MP, uh, nothing against the man, yeah. um, but he's part of a party which has betrayed us on every level and uh, I cannot vote for him because of his party, not because of the man. Uh, on that point, what is it, you know you say reform which basically represents the views of the ordinary Englishman. Uh, what particularly is it that you know concerns you? Uh, first of all, we should dump net zero. It's absolute nonsense. It's a great conspiracy. It's part of the global globalist agenda. I think Nigel will reject that. Uh, and secondly, the, the the elephant in the room, the mass immigration, needs to be stopped. 
Um, are, you, are you from Clapton? Uh, I live here, but I'm not from here originally. How has uh, immigration affected, say, this area? I can't answer that in particular. It's not, as far as I'm concerned, I've not noticed a great problem, but um, apart from, think, the general thing of rents increasing, uh, doctor's appointments are almost impossible, um, things of that sort, the general thing, not, nothing specific. Uh, it's transformed the country though, hasn't it? Of course it has, and, and the more we have, the more it will be transformed. It's, we, we, get, we used to have a cohesive society. Look what happened in the Second World War. Everyone was volunteering because they was defending themselves. Now, would it happen again? Would people volunteer? Who are you defending now? You're defending people who despise us. Yeah, yeah. A uh, lot of them. Yeah. What, what struck me actually is that reform has sort of seems to have had a real head of steam behind it and it seems that it's sort of growing. Is that your sense too? Certainly since uh, Nigel Farage has yeah. taken the helm, uh, it has uh, yeah, surged, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I was very pleased to, because we've never met before, very pleased to know that you watch the channel. Uh, I just wondered, have you any tips for anything we could do differently, do you think? No, I think you're doing just fine, Peter. Really? Yeah, carry on as you are, you're doing very well. I like this man very much. <laughs> uh, th thank you very much indeed, Alec, for talking to us. Lovely to meet you, sir. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you. Well, if Nigel Farage does win here, it will be a swing of historic proportions. Uh, one thing is for certain, what I've found here, indeed all over actually, is a sense in which there is real possibility of hope this time. Um, let's face it, if you're looking at the mainstream media and you're looking at some of these leaders' discussions, uh, Honestly, it's enough to put you off even bothering to vote. Uh, but that seems to have gone now, and there seems to be a real possibility that something might actually come of this. Anyway, uh, we'll all look forward to July the 4th, and let's see if it is indeed uh, our Liberation Day. Thanks. Hello. If you're enjoying the New Culture Forum channel and you believe in our mission, May I invite you to join our membership scheme at the link below or on our website, newcultureforum.org.uk. Our work is more important now than ever, and we have great plans ahead for the future, but we can't do it without your support. From as little as three pounds per month, you can help ensure that we continue on our mission. As a member, you'll receive a range of benefits, including access to exclusive content, invitations to our private events, including here at our studios, free copies of our books, and much, much more, including, of course, our famous NCF mug. If you aren't able to become a member, then please help us by clicking this button and subscribing to our channel. It's completely free. Just remember to also click the bell icon so that you can get notifications when we post new videos. Thank you.